Hey everybody, welcome to Trending. Today is Thursday, May 12th, or possibly Friday, <laughs> Friday, May 13th. We're record- It's like 4 o'clock. We usually do this first thing in the morning on Thursdays. You, you and I are both out of town last week. Right. The building's under construction. Things are just crazy around here. It is. So we got to this as soon as we could, and that was 3.45 That's right. on Thursday. So yes. there's a chance you might see this Friday. We'll just, just see. But whether it's Thursday or Friday, thank you for joining us. We're grateful that you are spending some time with us. Yeah, man. Doing all right, Joe? I'm doing all right. It's getting towards the end of the day, though. Like, So um, there's a theory about like our peak and our trough times of the day. Like afternoons, like my like, like you know, I'm just nuts. <laughs> Like, I need a charge. Yes. I, <laughs> I don't know about you and your workflow, so I don't know how this is going to go. <laughs> well, this week, this could be a very interesting episode. <laughs> we'll see. But Yes, sir. Okay, I got four topics. So actually, one reason why we're a little bit late, the first thing this morning, there wasn't a whole lot going on. Google yeah. was kind of slow to update their list, and it was a lot of sports stuff that yeah. we could have told you who won the games last night, but that was about it. So That's we waited right. for a few more things to pop up, and we got a couple things to talk about now. So... Let's kick things off. Some good news from the kind of science medical community. Um, so SIDS, the Sudden Infant Death Syndrome, a lot of oh, people wow. I'm sure know mm-hmm. about that and maybe know, even know some people who have been affected by that. For a long time, they really didn't know what was causing that. Okay. Like, and that's kind of why they called it Sudden Infant uh, Syndrome because they couldn't really figure out what was causing it. So kind of a breakthrough this week, they figured out that there's this very specific um, enzyme. I'm not. It's a long, I'm not, I'm not gonna try to even <laughs> pronounce it. It's a long <laughs> string of letters I don't know how to say. But they've kind of discovered that most of the kids that died of SIDS had the same enzyme that was missing. So oh, wow. there's just kind of some hope that maybe they can do some research and maybe, I don't know, I'm not sure how they're going to eventually solve this, but at least there's some lead on the way that they can hopefully make that not such a scary thing for parents. Mm-hmm. Which that's, I remember when I was, at, when I was getting ready to have my our first kid, we had a parenting class at Wesley and they kind of mentioned that. And mm-hmm. that's the scariest thing that just yeah. your kid could just die in the middle of the night with no warning. So... Yes. Anyway, some good news about that from the science community. So, That's awesome. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess they said that babies generally are very good at like their internal structure is really good. If anything's wrong, they let you know instantly. Right. So SIDS often is like that. Whatever that enzyme is, is just missing. So something's wrong and they can't communicate it, and then they, wow. and they unfortunately pass away. So anyway, wow. Some kind of cool news from all right the medical world today. So That's, That's awesome. very cool. Yeah. Okay, the next couple ones are things I'm not following very well, very closely, so I'm going to lean on your expertise, Joe. So <laughs> we'll see you might be in trouble, man. Okay. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Finland is trending, which I've been following okay. this a little bit. So yeah. obviously with all the Russia-Ukraine stuff, Finland is saying that they might want to join NATO, and right. obviously Russia does not want them to. And that's about all I know. So what else do you know about the Finland and Russia situation? Right. So like the little reporting that I've captured on it is, I mean, Finland's been kind of in the middle about whether to join or not, really reluctant to because of their ties with Russia. And it does seem, it did seem like like one of Vladimir Putin's aims was to fracture NATO. It was mm-hmm. to get countries like Finland to go against what the rest of the pulse of Europe, to really fracture it relationally. Yep. Uh, but what it seemed to do is kind of like embolden NATO, uh, make it stronger. And this is like a, a great development in that direction. Um, I think it's, I would, I would say it's almost totally due to the reporting being done on the ground and... I think people have different different views of journalism. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's usefulness or not, which stream to trust or not. Yeah. But I think what we say just in general, it is great that we have journalists. They get paid very little, uh, mm-hmm. most of them, to do really hard work, mm-hmm. uh, chaotic schedules. But to get down there on the ground and talk about these war crimes that Putin is doing, uh, the t- atrocities that are happening, yeah. and uh, for us to even catch wind of it is, um, I think, a, a miracle in and of itself. I think these stories coming to light are giving some of these countries like you know, Finland pause, like, man, we we need to take a stand here. This is it's finally time for us not to, you know, waffle between two opinions, mm-hmm. but to pick one side versus the other. And so I guess we'll see how this continues to shape this you know, ongoing conflict with Ukraine and Russia. Uh, just we should be praying for this conflict every day. Uh, Skill and family does. We at least a short prayer at the end of our, you know, in our nightly prayers, we pray mm-hmm. for this conflict because this is a significant piece of what's going on in our world today. Yeah. And this seems to be a positive de- development for that conflict that's going on. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, we've been talking about Ukraine for, we, I don't remember how many weeks it's been now, but it's been weeks. And I think no one really expected it for, to go on this long. So it's right. lingering and right. not affecting other countries. So it is obviously a very big, important yeah. deal for us to stay yeah. in touch with. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. 
Okay, you ready to test your science knowledge? Um, this is going to be bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. One of the biggest news today is that um, scientists have discovered a black hole in the Milky Way galaxy. Okay. So I don't I don't know if this is actually like a new discovery or I think it's mainly that they have a, the best picture they've ever had of it before has kind of been leaking out today. So it's not a great picture because it's very, very far away. Wow. But it's one of the best pictures we have of a black hole. So they're trying to okay. even look at it from a scientific... What can they learn scientifically from a photograph? And wow. That's about my extension, my, the extent of my knowledge about black holes. Whenever I hear about black holes, I just get instantly confused. Like right. the void of space and time and... Right. energy and right. gravity it's a very strange thing so tell us everything you know about black holes Joe. <laughs> i always hear of black holes like in a sports reference yeah so like a center fielder in baseball who catches everything they call like center field a black hole because nothing escapes so i think in general okay. it's very small i know it's like <laughs> a black hole is something where the, the gravity is so strong that no particles and not even like light can escape it okay uh, and it does have a boundary um, that I guess once it's crossed, then maybe something can escape. But anyways, it's a place where the gravity is so strong uh, that nothing can escape. So that's obviously not what we're experiencing here on planet Earth. Right. But it's really like I think this was a, these things were an anomaly until Einstein's theory of relativity, okay. general relativity, relativity. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> That's right. Uh, but I think it, we're able to like you know put that within the math of how the universe is expanding, and so um, obviously they've noticed these from time to time. So it's kind of neat that they get to observe, uh, you know, maybe a, a better picture of what one looks like. Yeah, and what that could mean. Once again, like this great mystery of this creator order that we have. Yeah, and, and then to ask the questions like why do they? How do they develop? Why are they there? Mm -hmm. uh, do they expire at some point? Mm -hmm. Um, is it threatening to you know life as we know it? Uh, I would have guessed not since it's so far away. But anyways, um, yeah, yeah. I always I always hear it in a sports reference. I think it's one of those things we all just talk about as if we know what they are, but no yeah. one actually knows what they are. Like fake it till you make it. Fake it till make it. And I feel like that it's been in enough like sci-fi movies and TVs and right. comics and stuff that like people think that maybe it warps time somehow. So maybe that's how time travel works is you go through a black hole and end up in a different right. dimension or maybe we end up in the spider verse or something on the that's other right. end of a black hole. So right, right. anyways, yeah. We'll leave it up to the scientists to tell us more about black it holes. It seems like Dwight Schrute should have mentioned a black hole at some point. In I, bet so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet he did. I bet he did. Battlestar Galactic is on the other side. So. Okay, last one. Again, there wasn't a whole lot to talk about today. I just thought it'd be funny for us to talk about. There's uh, Currently, the number nine topic on Twitter is Arby's. <laughs> <laughs> and I just think this is funny. Twitter. One thing I like about Twitter is just sometimes a couple of people have a funny idea and it just goes wild, right? So that's, I think, what happened with, with Arby's. So there's a podcast called The Need to Know Podcast. I don't know anything okay. about it. I watched a couple. They have a video podcast. I watched a couple seconds of it. Right. So it's this group of guys that say that for whatever reason, they have just never had Arby's. What? Like they just wasn't part of their life growing up, wasn't part of their culture or whatever. So they decided to kind of live on the air, try Arby's for the first time. And they go berserk because they love it. Like, <laughs> the guy bites into mozzarella stick and he just can't believe how good this thing is. Oh, no! What's that? Go. For a $2 mozzarella stick, his mind is just blown. And so they're trying the roast beef and they're trying this and that and they just can't believe how good Arby's is. And so it, if you do look it up, the language is not great. So here's your little uh, parental warning. That's right. There's a little bit of inappropriate language. But it's a pretty funny video of these guys exploring Arby's for the first time. And it's just blowing their minds. Which I will say, like, I, I don't like McDonald's. Like, most fast food, sandwichy type places, basically the same. They're not great. So I would take Arby's over, like, McDonald's or Burger King or whatever any day. Yeah. Do you have a strong opinion on Arby's? So I love Arby's, and so I've got like I learned that you shouldn't put uh, foil in the microwave because oh, of because Arby's. of Arby's. Yeah. So like there was one time they had, like the five for five fifty five, like yeah. way back in the day, sure before inflation, right? right. And I remember going, well, I don't want to lose money on this, so yeah. I got five of them, but I couldn't eat all five. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot. Of and so I saved one. They got back. the meats. Arby's, we have the meats. That's right. So I ate about four of them, right? I put the other one in the fridge. I went, had to take a nap after that. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, right? Meat, a meat nap. That, that's meat, right. Meat sweats. I was getting the meat sweats. <laughs> Salt Bay was in the room. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, 
<laughs> and so then I woke up. I was hungry again. <laughs> and so I put Dang, dude. I put all of it in the microwave. I turned around for a second, turned back, and it was on fire. <laughs> so, well, man. But I do like Arby's, man. The, okay. the curly fries, you're not, I, I would say for fast food, it is towards the top of the list for me. Yeah. I mean, so there you go, Arby's. And they said this is not a promotional. Like, they didn't get paid for it. It was just them being goofy. And now they're number, Arby's is number nine on Twitter. So Sometimes, like, when people, like, they get lost in wonder, it's yes. just so entertaining. Yes. Like, and it could be the Arby's or, like, the double rainbow video yeah, guy. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah. My, Like, just so, like, amazed. That guy was, he might have been on some. Anyway, so yeah. <laughs> that seems like a little bit over top. But, like, when well, people are truly enraptured in wonder, it is kind of a neat thing. Well, And the guy takes a bite of a mozzarella stick, and he's like, <laughs> like just amazed that the the string cheese is just going and going and going. So it was, it is a pretty funny video. So shout out to Arby's. We got Arby's just down the street. Shout out to Arby's. I like Arby's. Um, I think there's a fifty percent chance that if someone watches trending, like they they go to Arby's. We'll get Arby's. drum up some business yes, for local Arby's. That's right. We're like stoking the hunger, dude. I could I could go for some mott sticks right now. <laughs> it's the end of the day. <laughs> I would take some curly fries. <laughs> Like a pre-dinner? <laughs> yes, pre-dinner. Exactly. Exactly. Nice. Okay, well, that's all I got today. So, Man. real quick. So, run here. It's exciting. I just posted some pictures on Facebook and Instagram. Construction is underway. They're tearing down walls down in the kids' wing. It's yes. it's pretty cool that this stuff this stuff is actually happening. So, pretty cool news around uh, Ridgepoint. We talked briefly this morning, Joe, like with inflation and with the war, and then even, we won't get into it, but all the Roe v. Wade stuff that's going on. Right. Like, I'm just reminded again this week that there is, like, just, the world is heavy. The world is complicated, um, especially if you spend too much time on social media. There's a lot of yelling and screaming, and people are worried, and people are angry. And mm. so I guess as we wrap up, I mean, do you just want to say anything about just the world that we're in? If people are kind of feeling the heaviness of the world today, what, what, what how are you feeling? What would you say to those oh, people? man. Yeah, put one on. I'd say <laughs> right go to Arby's. I'd say go to Arby's. <laughs> yeah, no. no, and take with somebody with you and really talk and um, try. I, I think there's there's this neat episode in uh, a, a scene of an episode of Ted Lasso. Mm-hmm. Okay, where he uh, is uh, Ted Lasso, the main character, is working through some of his stuff uh, with his dad. Um, I won't spoil anything for you, but like the, there's a tragedy with he and his dad. And um, he was angry at his dad. He's expressing that anger to a, a, the sports therapist that they have yeah. uh, for the, with the team. And her immediate next question was, what did you enjoy about your dad? Hmm. Uh, and he tells this neat story of how he had a, a book report of Johnny Tremaine due the next day. <laughs> and he was worried about it. And his dad stayed up all night and read it for him. Yeah. And on the way to school and to breakfast, kind of relayed the plot to him so that he could be ready for his test. Right. Mm-hmm. And, and mm-hmm. like it just how it, it changed the mood by reflecting on something. Now, yeah. um, I'm not saying we should avoid the tough stuff. Mm-hmm. I do think we need to compartmentalize stuff that we can be worried about, but we can't do anything about. Stuff that we can worry about and we can do something about. Yeah. And then what's something that we can celebrate? Like try to sift things, almost like a triage clinic mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. issues yeah. into those things and then be people of action and not just sitting around. Um, the, the Holy Spirit is going to cause us to do something, not just to talk about something. Yeah. Um, I, I think I have, I have this sweatshirt that uh, I wore from time to time. It's called uh, Say Less and Do More. Yeah. Uh, and I wore that. I was in the Atlanta airport mm-hmm. trying to get to my flight. And uh, somebody like said, I really like that sweatshirt. I think yeah. this, that, that mantra, I think it really does re- resonate with us. And it still could resonate with us in tense moments like this. Yeah. Instead of just chatting about stuff, mm-hmm. which only leads to argument, disagreement, sometimes the parting ways of relationships. Yeah. What can we do together? Like, what can we co- cooperate with? Um, even with people that we may not agree with intellectually, we still could cooperate with them uh, relationally. We could cooperate with them in our actions and build the better world that we desire. Yeah, so, that's yeah. good. That's good. Mm-hmm. Man, to pull that off top of your head after Arby's. Uh, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm, a, I'm impressed. Yeah. <laughs> and my only thing I would add is just be kind, man. Yeah. The older I get, the more I just want to be a kind person. Like, yeah. The world's a mess. People are stressed and frustrated and busy. Yeah. The world would be better if everyone's just kind. Be that's kind. Right. Communication is irreversible. We say, say, say something in anger, say something that cuts somebody down. That's like toothpaste out of the tube. You can't get it back in. And yep. that's stuff we always deeply regret. Yeah. And so lead with kindness, uh, yep. lead with humility and sincerity, and it'll go a long way in the right direction. Agreed. All right. Well, go eat some Arby's, read about black holes, and we'll see you next time. All right. <laughs> that sounds good, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. See ya. See you next time.